Hi, this is Bindu Kumar from dataacademy.in. In this video, we are going to look at T unique row component in Talent DI. The T unique row component is used for removing duplicates from a data flow. This can be very useful if your data has duplicates. Duplicate data often cause your jobs to be slow because they consume higher amount of memory, higher storage space, and also network bandwidth. Not to mention the unnecessary load on each component in your job in processing the data. Let's see how we can use this component to remove duplicates. Let us create a new job. Let's call this one T unique row underscore demo. I'll add a T file input delimited. I'll connect to a local file that I have on the desktop, which is this file, mockdata.csv. Let me show you the data within the CSV file. It's quite simple. The first row has headers. There are two columns, employee ID and employee name. And uh, there are two rows. So let me change the value here. Now, back in talent for the T file input delimited, I have set the right file. In the field separator, the default value semicolon, I'm going to replace that with a comma. I will select the CSV options. And for the value of header, I will replace the value of zero with one. So this is to tell talent that to treat the first row as the header while reading the CSV file. Let's add a T log row component. And this one thing that I missed, which is to define the schema. So the first column is employee ID. The second column is employee name. I'll set the data type for employee ID as integer. Let's add the output to T log row. In the T log row, I will set the display type to table. Let me rerun the job. Okay, so here we can see the data being read from the CSV file to the log row. Now we'll make some minor changes to the data. I will copy the last row and add it again to the same file. So with this, I'm creating duplicate entries. Coming back to talent, in the palette, I will search for keyword unique, UNIQ. So here I see this component T unique row. Add it to the layout. Delete the connection between file input and T log row. Let's add the output from file input to the unique row. And now we'll configure this. So since we added, you can see the schema has been copied over to the unique row component as well. So here there is an option. It's asking, what are the key attributes? So for now, we will select employee ID as the key attribute. And we will add the output from T unique row to T log row. Let's run this. Okay. 
So clearly we can see that our input had three rows out of which the second and third row were duplicates. But the component has now considered only one row out of the two and it has taken out the duplicate from flowing further to the output. It is also visible in the statistics. You can see here it's, it shows three rows were processed from file input to the unique row but from unique row to t-log row only two rows made it through. Okay. Now let's add another t-log row. From the unique row, I will drag the output again and add it to the new t-log row. So here you will see it's a different pipeline. This time it is the duplicates that will be sent. So the unique row has two outputs. One is the set of unique records. The other is a set of duplicate records. Let's run this again to look at the output for both of these. Now before we can look at this, um, I'll have to make a small change, which is in the t-log row component. We'll change it to a table. It is much better to look at the data when it's a table. Okay, so now you can see here that the first t-log row has the set of unique records, 101 and 102. The second t-log row component has collected all the duplicate values. Okay. So here we are treating employee ID as the unique key. Right? Let's add the employee name as well and see what happens. Adding the employee name also as a unique key did not change anything. It's still the same output. Right? Because here in the second and third record, employee ID and employee name are the same. Let's change the employee name for the last employee. We'll save the file. So now you can see all the three values uh, appear under T log row, which means there are no duplicates. That is because in the T unique row, we are saying it's a combination of employee ID and employee name that define the uniqueness. Since in this particular uh, records, the three records, a combination of employee ID and employee name is always unique, right? Let's see that again. But this time we will remove the employee name and rerun the job. So here again, now it is using the employee ID as the unique key and any duplicates are being passed to the second T log row that we added. Let's add some more duplicate entries here. So here I'll add John and Jane. We'll save the file. Let's run the job. So here we can see the unique records for 101 and 102 appear in the first T log row. All the other duplicates for employee ID 102 appear here. Now let's suppose that we did not want to capture all the duplicates. Instead, we just wanted one record per duplicate. So in other words, 
if we have four records that are duplicates we only want one of them to be reported as a unique row then out of the remaining three we only want to report one of them as the duplicate the other two to be completely ignored so in order to do that go to t unique row component advanced settings and check this box use only use um, uh, only once each duplicated key right so now let's look at the output okay so here you can see the first data set I don't have to explain it's the unique rows for the duplicate rows in T log row although there were three instances it only captured the first instance of 102 it ignored everything else so this may be useful in some very specific scenarios to summarize the T unique row is a component that can be used to eliminate duplicate rows in your talent jobs in in many cases the flow of duplicate data utilizes um, a lot of memory a lot of disk disk space and not just that it slows down the performance of the overall talent job so the sooner you can limit the data the better so t unique row is one component that helps you make the data as light as possible by eliminating duplicates thank you